Eating's a funny thing. We all do it, but why? And where does all that food go? Today on Nestler Labs, we're diving into the digestive system. Be on the lookout for these key words in today's lesson. Digestive system, saliva, small intestine, large intestine, and esophagus. The digestive system is all the parts of the body that help to break down food and absorb nutrients. Our body uses food for energy, to repair cuts and scrapes, and to help build bone and muscle. We're gonna follow all the steps that our body takes to turn this into these. Our digestive system starts at the mouth. Our mouth is designed to tear, crush, and soak food. We have three main parts of our mouth that help us digest food. Our teeth, our tongue, and our saliva. Saliva is the watery liquid your mouth releases to help you digest food. We're gonna create a demonstration of what happens in your mouth. I have pretzel rods, a small dish, and a potato masher. I'm gonna take a pretzel and place it in the dish. The dish represents your mouth. Your potato masher represents our teeth. As we press down on the pretzel, you'll notice that it's crushed into smaller and smaller pieces. This is a simulation of us chewing. During the chewing process, our tongue helps to move food into position to be crushed between our teeth. We can see that our pieces are much smaller than they were originally, but there's still one major problem with these pieces. They're dusty and dry. They'd be very difficult to swallow in this state. This is where saliva comes in. Saliva helps to moisten food to allow it to slide down our throats. I'll be using water to model our saliva. As I add the water to the pretzels, they'll become moist and easier to digest. The first step of digestion is now complete. We've taken our food and mashed it up into smaller pieces and made it wet so we can send it on its way to the stomach. The next step is the esophagus. The esophagus is a long tube that connects your mouth to your stomach. The esophagus travels all the way from the back of your mouth down to your stomach. After the esophagus, the food enters the stomach. At this point, the food looks like mashed up, wet food. During its time in the stomach, it's gonna be broken down even further by stomach acids, and it's no longer going to resemble food. In order to model the stomach, we're gonna use our original chewed up food. Add to it some stomach acid. And we're gonna use this blender to really mash things up. The food spends about one to three hours in the stomach being broken down even further by stomach acids. At this point, you'll have a soupy mix that can easily pass through the rest of our digestive system. When the body decides that the food is broken down enough, it pushes it into the small intestine. The small intestine is the first place where nutrients are going to begin to be extracted from the food. This is one of the most important steps during the digestive system. As the food passes through this tube, nutrients are extracted through the intestinal wall. These nutrients pass into your blood supply and can be sent to places of the body that need them. Proteins for muscles, carbohydrates for energy, and calcium to build strong bones. Once most of the nutrients have been extracted from your food, it passes into the large intestine. The large intestine's job is to extract any remaining water from this soupy mix. Once the water and minerals are extracted, the only thing left over is waste, and your body gets rid of it. Here's an experiment that you can try at home. All you need is a salty snack, an ice cold glass of water, and a mirror. Take your salty snack and eat it while looking in the mirror. Notice how your mouth moves and your teeth move up and down to crush and rip the food into smaller pieces. Your tongue also moves around to get it in position to be ready to be swallowed. 
When you do swallow, watch your esophagus. You'll notice that it gets wider and shrinks as it moves the food down. Next, we're gonna try using the cold glass of water to map our esophagus. As we take a sip, try and pay attention to the cold as it moves down your esophagus and towards your stomach. You should notice that the feeling stops right about here. That's where our stomach is located. Today we talked about the digestive system. The digestive system's main job is to break down and absorb the nutrients out of food. It starts at the mouth, travels through the esophagus into the stomach where it's broken down further. Then it moves into the small intestine where nutrients are extracted. Then it moves into the large intestines where any remaining water is pulled out. At that point, the only thing left is a waste product, which your body gets rid of. 